the record. Oh, no, I'm, I'm coming back and get it. Record and record. Uh, shalom and welcome to another installment of uh, Apostles of GMS giving all praises to you. How about Shem Shai? Um, if you can hear us and see us, let us know. If we're coming in clear, let us know. Um, today's topic, as you can see on the on the uh, on the title, the subtitle, whatever you call it, is uh, the the kingdom a uh, GMS, the kingdom, UFOs, 78 D, and reincarnation. So um, I mean, we don't even that's we don't even got to put nothing together. So the spirit, the scriptures are already in 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 my head. So y'all, you got it. Yep. Oh, sorry. And the reason why I did this because we've been dealing with these guys. What happened? When we, when we, uh, when we come to we turn it to, I didn't put it back to up. So I, it didn't get you when you, when you announced it. All right. That's all right. But you heard me, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Doc. That's a, it's all, it's all good, you know? Give me a camera two anyway. Give me a camera two anyway. All right, good. Now come back to camera one. All right. Um, yeah, like I was saying, for the last, I would say, month or so, we've been going back and forth with uh, uh, Alpha and Omega. And then you got a new guy, this Jake. He's down with them, but he's under a different organization. I forget the name. If you want to pull pull his site up. That's, uh, eschatology. And so, yeah. End time, whatever, fulfilled. Yeah, and um, this, yeah, you got uh, the little puppy dog, uh, <laughs> for Cat Malone. He's t he's confused. You can see it in his face. He doesn't know what to do, man. He doesn't know what to do. So he's going to these different guys for answers. Hey, the answer is right here. You know, and that GOCC, and it's not at the IUIC, uh, IUIC or the ISUPK. It's right here, man. Okay, and if you are a uh, Israelite, then it's a question of whether you of, of the elect or not, because you're being called right now. This call didn't go out to uh, the the Jake Bill uh, Williams or whatever his name is. End times eschatology, all things fulfilled. Yeah, that clown. <laughs> the call ain't going out to him. Um, the call is not going out to Dr. James White. The call has gone out to you. That's why you're trying to put things together. We have the truth, all right? Now, dealing with this guy, I believe his name is Bill Williams, if I'm not mistaken. He's an amillennialist, and uh, Dr. James White is an amillennialist, I believe. And basically, what this Bill uh, Williams guy, if I got his name right, Bill Williams or Bob Williams, he's basically saying that everything is fulfilled. That everything was fulfilled, and I gotta watch more of his videos. All right. That everything, when you like, when you go to Matthew's twenty fourth chapter, um, and, and it talks about the end of the world. When the disciples asked him that, Yahweh Shai basically broke down that the end of the world is coming in seventy eight D, which he's partially right, because when you read Matthew the twenty fourth chapter. Luke, the 21st chapter, and I believe Mark, the 13th chapter, it speaks when it, when Yahweh Shai is talking about the end, he is talking about 70 AD, but he's also talking about another end, and we're coming to that end again. So, you know, we can just take it from there, and then we got to go into reincarnation because he seems to not, these guys don't understand it, that reincarnation is biblical. Yeah, because um, when you go back to that time frame, see, the, the Lord set up his prophecies and his prophecies have a certain period of time that they that they uh, uh, are, are set out. And then eventually at the end, they're accomplished. You know, um, when you read, uh, I'm going to read Matthew 24 real quick. I'm going to start at the first verse. But the point is around the third verse. It says, and Yahweh Shai went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him for to show him the building of the temple. Now, this building of the temple, uh, once once Yahweh Shai um, 
was uh, crucified and uh, um, uh, uh, went back to the Heavenly Father and the veil of the temple was rent, that, that signified the end of, the, of, of that particular temple, the end of that, that uh, uh, um, sacrifice of animals, that blood sacrifice. Now, what happened was not too long after that, approximately about another 30 some odd years in, into the future, uh, about 37 or so to be exact, the, uh, the, uh, the temple in Jerusalem was actually destroyed by the Romans. That represented the end of the temple, you know, on earth until the Messiah came back and, and reset the whole kingdom back in, into power on the planet earth and Israel be back into the kingdom. That represented the end of that. The end of the animal sacrifice, the end of the uh, service of the temple, the end of the uh, Levitical priesthood at that time, you know, because he became that ultimate sacrifice. So it says, and Yahweh shall said unto them, see ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Why? Because that was the ending of that of the temple. Why? Because Yahweh Shai became that temple once the veil was rent. Khan, Khan. Well, the 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 so-called Wailing Wall is still a part of uh, uh, Herod's uh, the old uh, um, um, temple that he built. That's still a part of it, and they still have that that whole wall still up. It says, um, it says, uh, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, "Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be?" What shall be the, the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world, meaning the end of an age? Now, when you understand Bible and you understand the history, the, the question that the disciples were asking them basically was when was going to be the end of the Roman Empire? Because they understood that once the Roman Empire went down, that the kingdom of Israel was going to be established. But they didn't understand that there was going to be a uh, uh, the kingdom was the, the Roman Empire was going to fall but it was going to come back into power in the future. They didn't understand that. That's why Yahweh Shai, matter of fact, I'll read it. This is the book of Acts, chapter 1. That's that prophecy in uh, Revelation. The deadly deadly wound was healed. Khan. Yeah, when they came back into power, like you're saying. Khan, that, that's right, that's right. Uh, this is back at Acts, chapter 1, verse 6. When they therefore will come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Because they thought that as soon as the Messiah went, you know, back to the Father and came back, the kingdom of heaven was going to be established. Because they that's what they understood. And they were correct to a certain degree, but they didn't understand that there was a time period or a time frame that doesn't belong to us. It belongs to the Most High. Because the Most High's time is different from our time. That's why it says in Peter... One day is to the Lord is a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. So they didn't understand that. You know, that's why Yahweh spoke this other parable in Luke 19 and 9. It says, And Yahweh said unto him, I'm sorry, um, this is Luke chapter 19, and uh, I started at 9. And Yahweh said unto, matter of fact, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, the uh, 19th chapter and the, uh, I believe it's the 11th verse. Just bear with me one second. Yep, Le Le uh, Luke 19 and 11. And as they heard these things, he added and spake a parable because he was nigh to Jerusalem. And because uh, they thought that the kingdom of the Most High should immediately appear. That's why he had to tell us, later on he had to tell the disciples, it's not for you to know the time. Or the season which the Lord has put in his own power. And also he had to tell the uh, wicked Pharisees in them. He said, look, the kingdom of heaven doesn't come with observation. Because they thought it was they were going to actually see it coming. No, it, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't like that. The kingdom of heaven is within, within us. We're that kingdom of heaven. The, the knowledge is the kingdom of heaven. The people of, of Israel is the kingdom of heaven. They cannot be the kingdom of heaven without the nation of Israel. Yeah, without the truth. With, beginning with the elect. Starts with the elect. Yeah, con, con, you know, that's right. That's right. So, so see, that was, that was like a mystery back then, too. And even uh, uh, the Apostle Paul said the same thing. You know, he said the, the, the mystery of iniquity was already working. And, and, it couldn't, and, and the kingdom could not come to pass 
unless that there, there was a falling away first. And and when he when he made that statement, that was probably about a good four years before uh, uh, the destruction of Jerusalem, because around that time, you know, around at that time, that's when uh, um, Paul was put to death. You know, not too not uh, not too uh, and and in the in the uh, not too uh, distant future which was probably about a good three, four, five, six years in the future, that's when the fulfillment of 70 AD occurred. When the, when the uh, uh, temple was destroyed, the, the uh, um, Romans besieged Jerusalem, those armies that Yahushua spoke of. That's why part of Matthew 24, uh, Mark 13, and Luke the 21st chapter were fulfilled back then. Because you know you had the abomination of desolation, you had the armies that were gonna that were gonna surround Jerusalem, you know, though and in the and the temple itself being destroyed, yeah. those were all things that happened at that time. Yeah, the, <laughs> the falling away first. That was uh Jerusalem falling. Yep. And it's been falling ever since. Huh. And just because uh H O D C went over there <laughs> <laughs> demanding their land back was the most ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna fall until Yahweh Shai returns right. and with the with the chariots and those angels in a glorious fashion. Then we're gonna get our land back, man. Right. Yeah, the, the big guy, <laughs> the, the the big dude talking about uh in the video, he said uh he said, Yeah, yeah, we uh, no, not him, I'm sorry, the other guy. He said, Yeah, we're here to claim the <laughs> we're here to claim the land. <laughs> we came we came back to get the land, some some crap like that. And I'm watching this shit and I'm laughing my head off, man. HODC is a total embarrassment, you know? And ever since they ain't never been right, ever since they kicked us out over the, because they were privy to that, well, the big guy, the big Jamaican guy, he wasn't there. Uh, but uh, uh, Ben and, uh, and, uh, and Barack, they were there. And the other guy, yeah, Ash, yeah, they, they were there. And they were privy to kicking us out uh, over the Cornelius thing, man. And they ain't never been right since. Them clowns ain't never been right since. Cornelius is the Edomite. Yeah. Hell, ISUPK, as retarded as they are, they know that Cornelius is an Israelite. Yeah. Uh, uh, IUIC know that the Cornelius is an Israelite. And then they made them clowns put on yarmulkes, man. That shit was... That, that shit oh, was... They a, on, they, yeah, they, 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 man, yeah. fuck that. That's what... <laughs> you know what, man? Let's, go, let's, let's leave that subject. Cut, cut, I don't, cut. I don't want to get pissed off. I ain't going to put no... I gotta I, excuse me, Dr. James White, but I gotta I must be allowed to curse. I ain't gonna put no goddamn yarmulke, yarmulke on my head. And then them so-called Jews, they were dancing in the circle like faggots. They're floating around and they and they kept beckoning to them. Come on in, and I'm like, yeah, go on in, Ben. Go on in, man. Go on dance with them them heathens, man. Israel, come stay with friends. Yeah, fucking joke. And then they gave him some some of that dirty water and they drank it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, no, we're drinking the damn. I wouldn't have drunk that water. And the most stupidest thing they did was upload that shit. That no, of, of all the shit they did, the most stupidest thing was to upload it. <laughs> HODC. All that stuff that you did going this second time going to Israel, all these great works that you did, James White still hasn't called you. <laughs> Vocab Malone hasn't mentioned your name. You're insignificant, man. Number one, the number one group. All right. Even J uh, Vocab Malone said, "Well, GMS is the most passionate." All right. Con, con. You know, and 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 they they must have not read the scriptures where the Lord said He's gonna destroy the land of Israel by the hands of, of Russia before we can get back into that land. Yeah, that land has to be purified because yeah. a bunch of rats is in it, so it's got to be purified. That's right. So, so where they get the water from? From from uh, Lake Mini Tonk Tonk. <laughs> was that, that's, is that the right one? Uh, Mini Kaka, Mini Tonka. Yeah. I'm surprised uh, Prince didn't come back and give it to you. Oh no, that was the same Lake David King David desired water from, and his, his men risked their lives to go get that water. That's where they got the they, that's where they got the water from. <laughs> they got that water from Pink City. Oh, Rothschild Boulevard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rothschild Boulevard. Yeah, he had an aqueduct in in in, a, in across the street. Um, all right, this is the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter four. Yeah, because see that the thing about it is 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 about about the kingdom. The the the, the reason why, because as a matter of fact, even uh, uh the, the Peter and the disciples, 
asked you how we shot at when they when they went through everything that they went through they they gave up everything man you know they followed the lord they believed the lord they gave up everything they gave up pretty much they gave up their life they gave up their families they gave up their their uh, profession you know they gave up any goal or aspiration that they may have had <laughs> right and this is what this is what uh, uh the apostle peter asked you how we shy uh, Matthew 19 27 then answered Peter and said unto him behold we have forsaken all and followed thee see they forsook all not part of it all of it what shall we have uh, therefore and Yahweh shall said unto them verily I say unto you that ye which have followed me in in the regeneration when the son of man shall shall uh, sit in the throne of his glory Ye also shall sit upon 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. So in other words, they were going to be in the kingdom, and they were going to be top uh, pillars of the kingdom. You know, they were going to be the apostles sitting on the 12 thrones, judging all of Israel, and judging the nations too. So so what what, what you can put that into one word, you know, like King Mashiach used to say, one word, kingdom. You know, that's what that, that breaks down to. It says, and everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake shall receive an hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life you know and and it's not talking about build up america get you some some land get you some states uh get you a community get you some housing get you some educate you know some uh, school buildings you know get you some different structures your own uh businesses it ain't talking about building new black wall street in america it's talking about giving up everything for the hopes of receiving the kingdom that's coming because a lot of you guys you know at one at one time some of you you, you guys that go way back to one west you you were looking forward to the kingdom now you just became complacent you know you took that judas purse and you became complacent you're no longer looking for the kingdom of heaven because you you have your kingdom of heaven right now you have your consolation here on the earth i'm talking about nate i'm talking about johanna i'm talking about uh uh uh, uh elder rakaf from the gocc all of you guys uh barack barack and them guys talking about they're going back to reclaim the land and do you know how how hard them them gutter rats over there be laughing at you here it is you you going back there to reclaim your land but the vid the name of the video uh, we had to hide the camera because they wouldn't let us in well they made them put uh just to they made them put yarmulkes on and them fools did it here it is they went back there to reclaim the land but they gotta hide the camera so they could film they could film where they were at wow all right because the bottom line you know you guys that 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 want to continue on prospering in america to prosper in babylon the great pretty much you're not looking uh, to the future you're looking for the right what was what's in front of you right now and the reality is right now israel is not our land right now that land is totally trash it's like the prophecy says it's trodden down of the gentiles you know the land has to be cleansed then we're going to go back to the land but right now we don't want that shit. you know yeah. it's right. trodden down of the gentiles just like the prophecy says yep that's right and that's a good scripture i'm going to get it this is the book of uh, Luke. But once again, that's showing you brothers out there, once again, who the real group is, all right? I mean, how many more uh, examples do you need? Who the real group is, who the spirit of the Lord, the Haobah Shem Yahushai, is supping with, is dealing with, who's leading us. Like King David said, he leadeth me beside the still waters, he restoreth my soul. You got to be led by the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai constantly, man, to stay on the path of truth. And uh, them other groups, they're not really being led. Well, yeah, they're being led. They're being led astray. <laughs> you got it. All right. This is Luke 21 and 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, told my Israel, back during 70 AD, and shall be led away captive into all nations. Oh, that's another uh, scattering scripture. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles, the real Gentiles, the real nations, the real heathens, until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And we're still in the time of the Gentiles because the last go, Gentile bro. nation.